time. It is time to brew your best beer. The 2020 SD Port Challenge Gold Sponsors. Bouncer. A special thanks to double gold sponsor, Bouncer. Keeping the dregs out with an inline filter for homebrewers. Keeping you homebrewers organized on a brew day with Boil Bro. And keeping beer fun with the Growler Bro mini beer flavor infusers. Brewtubers. Online Brewers Club. Forums, recipes, articles, new updates, brewing tools, and more. Yakima Valley Hops. Fresh from the source to your kettle. Supplying hops for home brewers and the craft beer industry. Omega Yeast Labs. Fresh, healthy, unique, pitch ready liquid yeast for prone brewers and home brewers. Jaded Brewing. Home of the fastest immersion wart chiller, the Hydra. And other brewing supplies. Brady Instruments. Supplying the world with high quality, hand blown, handcrafted, scientific instruments like the SJ Poor Challenge Hydrometer Trophy. Hey guys, Matt here at Rector Brewery. We're going to do another 2020 SJ Poor Challenge Round 1 Beer Review. <clears throat> This one is J69RD118A. Uh, the style is a mango coconut and uh, New England IPA or NEPA. The adjuncts were used are toasted coconut and fresh frozen mango. Hops are Warrior, Citra, and Mosaic, and the ABV is 8.5%. It's a big boy. Uh, I'm really liking the, uh, the, the description on this thing. It's mango and coconut. And uh, those, I love, love me some mango and coconut. So, let's see what we got here. This entrant is a canner. So, I know a few, of, a few guys in the community that are canning. That's quite cool. All right. All right, I can't complain about the look on that. Look at that. It's a nice uh, golden straw color on this. Nice light beer. It's pretty clear. It's not fully clear. It's got a little bit of haze in there. Then again, I mean, there's coconut in here, and, you know, coconut, uh, I, I believe, can do that. It's got a decent head on it. Uh, a lot of good carbonation, some bubbles uh, hanging on to the side of the glass and streaming up in the middle there. Head's probably not going to stick around for too long. I think it's burning off pretty quickly. Nice white head on there, that's okay. Oh yeah, got a good mango and coconut aroma to it. That's very nice. So did he say toasted coconut? Yeah, there's toasted coconuts in the, uh, as the adjunct, and some fresh frozen mango. Yeah, when I made, when I made a uh, beer, uh, I toasted coconut on one of my beers that I put coconut in. Mango, I did the same exact thing as uh, sewer brewed brew this one. Um, the mango, when I added fruit, uh, I just did frozen straight into the, you know, the secondary or even, or, you know, after fermentation was done, it seems to be a good place to put it. I don't know what this brewer did, but, um, you, you get, you get all that in the uh, aroma for sure. Let's see, what did he say his hops were again? Warrior, Citra, Mosaic. I'm going to guess Warrior is probably a bitter hop. Citra, Mosaic are either the flavor and the aroma. I'm getting, I'm probably getting a little bit of the citra in the aroma. Maybe, maybe a little bit of the mosaic too. It's not as pronounced as another IP that I've, that I've uh, reviewed. But it's got a wonderful aroma to it. It's very pleasant. It's not, uh, it's not an overpowering, uh, it's not like, you know, hitting you in the face with a bunch of hops. Uh, it's a nice, um, you know, fruity, uh, florally type of an aroma to it. A lot of that's coming from like the, the mango and, and the hops that are in here. The coconut has kind of died off a little bit in the aroma. I got it first, so that was nice to smell that. But maybe we'll get more in the taste. But as far as the aroma goes, I'm getting a lot, I'm still getting a lot of that mango. So that's that's awesome. That, that's right up my alley, I love mango. So uh, maybe a little harsh for that, but um, let's go ahead and get a taste. Cheers.
That's nice. It's not what I would expect out of a New England IPA though. Um, but the flavor is nice. It's uh, It's got a nice um, mango, um, this first in the taste. You know, so I don't know if the brewer was going for a strong mango uh, presence in this beer, but he got it. So it's, um, it may be, it may be overshadowing the hops a little bit for the style. But it's got a nice taste though. It's really nice. Um, you know, got to score it accordingly based on what I'm, what I'm noticing here. Um, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not a, an expert on the New England IPA style. This isn't clear. It's clearer than most uh, New England IPAs that I've had. Um, but it, it, I mean, it looks, it looks like a, if you didn't tell me it was a New England IPA, I mean, you know, I don't always brew this style anyway. This is a great looking beer and it's a great, you know, it's got a nice aroma to it and it's a great tasting beer. So I really can't complain about this one. Yeah, I might have a little bit di difficulty scoring it, just based on you know parameters of you know the style that this is supposed to be. But everything that's on this label is in here, and that's that's something that I'm looking for as well when I when I think about my feedback and my scoring. You know, if you tell me that it's a mango beer and I don't, I, you know, I didn't if I didn't read it, didn't know it was in here, that's a problem. But in this case, <clears throat> you told me that there's mango and coconut in here, and I get that. I get both. That's very nice. Um, so anyway, I've gone on enough about this beer. I think it's, I think it's great. Uh, you know, it may not be exactly what you would necessarily expect from a New England IPA, at least by some of the ones I've had, but again, I'm not an expert, so I could be, I could be off on that. You know, it's, it's definitely, it's very juicy. It's, it's, I mean, that's, that's another characteristic that is, um, supposed to be in a New England IPA, and that's that's also in this. This is, this is a very juicy tasting uh, beer. Hurry up, I'm ready to set up a new beer. Hurry up. Yeah, so this one gets, uh, this one gets high credit in my, in my book. I mean, I think this is, this, is a, this is an awesome beer. So, we'll see you guys in the next review. Take care, everybody, cheers.